Uh, good day everyone and welcome before we start we have a disclosure please be aware of risk in the future trading uh, right now is uh, 245 and uh, we are done for today 19th of January and uh, before we cover the other auto trades uh, I want to show the uh, the automated trading signal uh, actually we were a little bit around a hundred tick based on the last entry not the whole day and then we had a short trade and then we start getting signal by right there and uh, this is where with the trend exhausting and you can see how this market start turning around after being short all day long the market the farther away the bar away from the line the stronger the trend and now is about to be done so we don't have to trade all of them but right now based on one contract is 510 ticks based on the last signal entry but you don't have to trade all of them you can trade ES Nasdaq Dow Jones at the moment the ES is 68 ticks based on one contract 218 ticks based on one contract and the YM uh, based on one contract 174 takes based on one contract and based on the last entry signal only not the whole day so this is a really amazing we still have uh, many uh, open position and also you can use uh, this uh, uh, this uh, signal uh, for a minute or if you want it to be on a little smaller time frame you can use it on, on the 15 second or on 30 second if you want and then uh, the target is calculated between the entry signal the fib line base the trend stop is based on the fib line and if this market trend then uh, the auto trade will extend uh, the target if the market not trending the target will stay where it is is all calculated by itself and uh, and then uh, it, it does um, uh, also you can also manage if you want to you can also manually if you want to you can also manually if you want to do that or you can have the auto trade do it uh, by itself or if you wanted to cover some of your profit you can take it a little bit down if you want to cover some of your profit even if you are uh, moving the trading stop here uh, the the system will uh, if the FIB lines come in, uh, they will move your trailing stop uh, automatically and readjust your trailing stop. So this is a really uh, something else. Let's uh, talk about uh, the precision auto trade. Uh, we have uh, uh, the only the 30 year treasury bond. This is the last trade. This is the only open position on the precision auto trade and uh, there is a small trade on the gold uh, the last trade on the gold but uh, the rest are done for today uh, the 30-year treasury bond based on uh, four range is doing extremely well and um, and you can see there is a distant time between the two trades this is the first trade and this is the second trade so there is a good um, uh, and um, for the uh, gold just close right now just finish close right now the second round and it's done for today the gold uh, YM five minutes uh, 2300 uh, based on uh, five minutes beautiful trade and we were done by 1030 that's what I like it The YM base on two minutes. Also, it was done by by 10, uh, 35, 10, 40, uh, 1700. This is the two minutes. Nasdaq did very well today. I mean, the, today the the market was uh, one direction, very smooth, uh, no, no big deal, uh, easy. Uh, the Nasdaq is three minutes, 2200. Uh, the YM 1500 on the scalping. 
gold did very well today as well uh, this is a small very small time frame and it was done uh, around 12 o'clock two rounds today on the go uh, on the uh, CL uh, and this is uh, 45 seconds uh, the Nasdaq on the 410 did extremely good 3355 and it was done by before 11 o'clock at 1042 and that was a beautiful trade and uh, and look here uh, the trade didn't go immediately the auto trade shut it down and then on the first pullback the auto trade nailed it beautiful the way the way the the auto trade predicted before it dropped that's what is called beautiful really it's not the PNL so here is uh, uh, the first line you can see it depends who you are what kind of risk you want to take in the market uh, if you want to use a higher time frame or a lower time frame which of course we train you on all uh, those and uh, as we see here uh, the the three minutes uh, 1000 uh, the 590 takes it is one of my favorite on the Nasdaq because lately the Nasdaq move very fast and the 590 takes uh, it is like a gloves in your hand with the five so my favorite is the 590 takes on the Nasdaq and it's been very consistent for many months for many months the 590 takes uh, is a uh, very consistent and I like that uh, the Nasdaq three minutes also this is another one 1500 CL um, a few years ago everybody was trading the CL and then everybody moved away from the CL because uh, it become harder to trade but uh, lately the CL is is, uh, uh, is a really in again and um, uh, and the way because every time you have a volatility on the ES Nasdaq Dow Jones you turn around on the CL you find a trend people when they see a lot of volatility or they cannot find a trend uh, they can go on the, on a CL and that what make it the CL uh, very good or if you want to hash the market uh, don't hash the market ES Nasdaq uh, try to hash the market let's say uh, ES CL ES 30 year treasury bond you will be better off because if uh, the ES there is volatility in the ES you're gonna face the same volatility in the Nasdaq you're not doing any good so if we if we find a different instrument where um, has no uh, immediate um, impact from the ES and then that will be much better tuning when if you are uh, auto trading two different charts so and um, the 20 second is very consistent <coughs> excuse me and then if, if you notice the way it took the trade it broke even you know the market was going up here it top up the market and then the market took down so we nailed the market on the way up breaking even and drop perfect trade and and this is based on only 20 second on the CR4 uh, range uh, we we got whacked on the first trade and then one trade two trade uh, a bad trade and then it took a, uh, a, a short trade and then another short trade another long trade and did it 1000 which is four range you know this is really good uh, on the CL10 range uh, immediately broke even one short one long and it was done uh, by 12 uh, 19 and you can see there is a distance between that trade and that trade indicating this is not a dummy auto trade like an ATR just don't think so there is a gap between every trade until the market is in the in the perfect condition for the auto trade to initiate trade this is this is a word different in the auto trade than to use a dumb indicator based on a moving average plus or minus this is a total different level of auto trading if we look at the ES we have a little different variety of the ES 
the EAS on the 170 ticks is very consistent a chart no trouble is always a smooth no uh, even if the market a little bit sideways is very forgiven time frame the 170 take and uh, I mentioned the uh, I highlight my favorite charts every day like the Nasdaq 590 I always highlight it and I always highlight the 170 ticks on the EAS is very consistent and it is uh, mirroring uh, the, 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 the traders maybe budget you know if you want to trade one contract or two contract or three contract uh, without a very high stop loss uh, on the five minutes this is a total different time frame require a little gap let it, the market go and back and forth and this one here is 2900 on the two minutes is a scalping mood and it is 1250 and then we have the ES on on three minutes which the three minutes also uh, it is like the 170 tick is very consistent and it's not too low time frame to dive into the noises in the market and it's not of the five minutes where uh, you know it's a it's a, a mid-size uh, uh, a time frame so I find the three minutes is balanced also I recommend the 170 take or the three minutes right in between this is a really uh, a lot of consistency uh, on the three minutes of chart for the ES and if we if we if we are let's say on Monday on Monday you don't swing the trade on the on Monday on Monday is a scalping you can scalp the market on the 22nd on Monday and then on Tuesday you can turn on your three minutes so all those small details you have to learn uh, the better sadly uh, people think uh, automated trading is just a wash machine you turn it on on Monday the same on Tuesday it's not uh, every single day every time in uh, the, the market is about timing to go in and to go out and, and this is very important and here is a five minutes is a uh, uh, 1750 <coughs> let's look at a total different auto trade called the TI7 this auto trade has uh, 10 different entries and 10 different filters and uh, um, you can use a, a different entry for a certain instrument what works on the ES is not necessarily work on the Nasdaq so and uh, the filter what works on the ES does not mean it will work on the Nasdaq or DAX so this one here is a little bit wider range of option for the trader uh, if you wanted to cut the how he wanted to take the trade you can trim the auto trade to take two trades a day and you can make it very aggressive conservative medium and of course uh, we train you uh, as you go uh, now CL five minutes 1700 ES 11 range 1300 uh, ES 11 range and uh, the difference between this one here and that one here this one is a scalping and this one here is a swing trading and both are coming from the same auto trade but you can swing or scalp there is a three different scalper uh, entry on the TI7 and then you have the YM uh, did very well based on the three minutes is very good for the DAX we only have a couple of charts on the DAX and uh, I I usually like the four minutes on the DAX actually I've been for on a four minutes now for two years it's 3400 and then uh, we have the Nasdaq scalping on 38 second is 13 55 and then we have the ES based on one minute uh, it was 14 25 and it was done uh, before even 10 o'clock within half an hour the daily target hit uh, the 12 range ES took one trade at 10 30 it was done at 10 50 
no trades before because um, this is a very unique um, uh, with the with the ti7 and uh, the entry so it took one trade and it was done 1500 uh, nasdaq on the four minutes and then we have the cl five minutes russell six range is doing very well uh, the russell on the six range and you can see it's not the pnl folks and this one the nasdaq you can see how there is a space between the trades and you can see the way it's entering the market is not based on ATRs you know uh, it's, uh, there is many uh, a lot of algorithm uh, under the, the hood with this uh, TI7 so this is a really really good it depends if you wanted to Simplify your auto trade is very good to start with the precision auto trade very effective friendly use it does not require any filter it does a do good job and then if you wanted to later on go on a higher there is a lot of auto trades there is around 15 auto trades in your package from the institutional auto trade next I mean there is a lot uh, reversal auto trades so but we only cover uh, a couple auto trades couple three auto trades every day folks that's all what we have for today we'll see you on the other channel tomorrow live and uh, we wish you a really pleasant evening thank you very much and god bless you all bye for now